Hey everybody, welcome to my channel again. Hey, this is Cliff and uh, I'm from Extreme Bottle Hunters 369. And today I got a little bit of downtime. Uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. I really didn't want to get out on the water because there's so much boat traffic. It's uh, a lot more dangerous. So today I'm cleaning bottles. And I was just gonna kind of show y'all what I use to do my bottles with. Uh, a lot of people use uh, bottle tumblers, which I do have one but I don't clean my glass that way, but these things look pretty bad when they come out of the river. And I just wanted to kind of show y'all what I use. There may be some people out there that might want to try this. Uh, it really does a good job. I mean, if you don't like bottles that look like brand new and you want them to have that age look to them, well, I've got a tip for you. This stuff right here is pretty good and just check it out. I'm fixing to do one right now and I'm going to kind of go through the process with you and show you what's going on. Just uh, check this out right here. Let me get the camera set up. So typically the bottles I get, they look pretty rough. They've got like a stain on the inside of them and on the outside from where they've been buried up into rust from the bottle dump they're coming out of in the river. Uh, I'm gonna try to clean this one up show you what this stuff does. And what I'm using is this stuff right here is called Loctite Rust Dissolver. It's a, a navel jelly. And I do recommend to everybody to wear gloves when you use this stuff because it will burn your hands. Uh, it's pretty good stuff though. So just check this out and just kind of see what it does to this bottle. Uh, like I said, the inside of it, I haven't cleaned it yet. It's pretty rough, but we're going to see what we can do with it. And, and you know, I did tell y'all to wear gloves, and you're probably going to see me not use them a little bit, but it's okay. I wash my hands off in the water. But just check this out. And, you know, all this stuff's not going to come off of it because there's a lot of black stain from where it's been in the river for a long time. Uh, this bottle's probably 1920s or 30s. It's a uh, knee-high soda bottle. I just use a toothbrush and just put this stuff on it and let it kind of soak in. I mean, it takes a few minutes. It's not something that's gonna be like super duper fast. <laughs> it's a job, just like everything I, just, you know, everything you do is gonna be a job. Uh, Everybody sees somebody pulling something out of the water and like, oh my God, man, that's that's pretty cool. But then they don't know all the process of getting there to get them and the process of what you have to do to clean them. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's got a, a quicker, easier method, but this is just the way I do it. Uh, it kind of does a real good job. So I kind of got, the outside of the bottle cleaned a little bit. And you'll be able to tell here in a minute how dirty this bottle really was. So it's starting to clean up on the outside. So what I do is I've got some uh, little pieces of brass that I've cut from my bottle tumbler. And they look like that. And I'm gonna stick those down in there. And I'm sure some of them's gonna fall in my bucket. That's why I've got it underneath here. Got another handful right here. I'll just slide those down. It's basically the same thing a bottle tumbler do. You uh, stick a cutting agent in there, which I have. It's like a uh, real fine grit. But this stuff right here works really good. So I put a little bit on a toothbrush, slide it around the edge. And then I'll drop about a drop in there, a good drop. Wash that off. I do add a little bit of water and then it's just a process of shaking it to 
pretty much lets the little beads go round and round and round inside of it. Almost like a bottle tumbler itself faster. And y'all gonna see a huge difference here in just a second. And I'm doing this fast, so there's gonna be, still gonna be some stuff in there, but for the most part, a lot of it's gonna come off. You can use a, like a small scrub brush, toothbrush, you don't want to use anything real abrasive because it'll actually scratch the, gr the glass. I almost said grass. <laughs> but this black stuff that's on this bottle right here is just mildew. It will come off. And uh, let me shake this a couple more times. I'll show you how fast this works. This stuff is caked on. So I don't want to waste any of it. Well, I'll show you this bottle. This one's got like a, it's a green, it's got an olive green color to it, but it's got a tarnish all over it. I'm gonna clean it here in a minute. What I want to do is take those little brass beads that I cut and just pour that gunk down in there in the next bottle and set it over to the side. And we're gonna wash this off to see what it did to it. And it was rough. I mean, it's really hard to tell. But, and this is a uh, pretty old bottle. It's got a patent date of uh, March the 1st, 1923 on the bottom of it. But you can see that it cleaned up pretty decent and it's a knee-high beverages bottle. It's pretty neat. It's like an Art Deco bottle. It's actually from Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says Memphis, Tennessee. But that's just one. Uh, pretty rough to clean. It's got all these little ribs on it, but I'm gonna try with this other one real quick. Let me kind of show you how quick it cleans it up. And I have some that are really nasty. Uh, it's hard to tell, but on the inside of that, there's some caked on moldy stuff that's been on there for a long time. And we'll try that one here in a minute. But let's go ahead and do this green one. Well, let's, let's do this one. I just got to thinking about this while ago. I was like, dude, I could make me a little video here, show some people how I clean my bottles. Uh, anyway, here we go. We're gonna use the toothbrush again. And believe me, this stuff is caked on. It, it will not come off. And there's all kinds of acid type base things you can use to clean your bottles with, but I just like to use this aluminum stuff. It does a good job, you know, for display. Or, you know, it's whatever you're gonna do with them. Clean them up, put them in a window, put them in a display, whatever. It's just really good, quick tip to get bottles clean. And this will work on your household stuff too. If you got stains on glass, this stuff will get it off, man. I'm just doing this the quick way, kind of show y'all, cause. All right, like I said, we'll put one little blob of stuff in there. There we go. And don't forget, Loctite Naval Jelly Rust Dissolver. Stuff is the bomb. All right, I'm wash my hands off, cause like I said, you're not supposed to do this without gloves. But put just a little bit of water in there and I'll just shake it. And you can get that copper, that's copper pieces that I've cut. Uh, I think it's, uh, 12 gauge copper, it could be eight gauge. I'll show you some pieces of it here in a minute. I just cleaned it up and cut it, got all the plastic off of it, and cut it up into small pieces. 
You can buy that stuff on eBay too. You can see a big difference in this bottle here in a second. Sometimes there's some stuff up in the neck of it. You just gotta take a toothbrush or they've got little bottle cleaning kits with little brushes that you can brush that stuff off with. Get all that black stuff, all that crap off of it. And they may still be a little stain in them, but Man, if you saw these bottles when they come out of the river, <laughs> they look they look rough. For them to turn into what they're about to turn into. And I'm gonna show you all a picture of something that I've already done. The before and after, I think I can do it. It is a lot of work. <laughs> all right. So what we wanna do is find another bottle to put this stuff in. So, let me get this one. Here's another one I got that's all stained up on the inside. We're just going to take the stuff that's in this bottle and pour it into this one. That way we don't waste it. Okay. Set that one aside. Now I'm going to just kind of wash this off. And remember what I said. You really want to use gloves. There you go. I mean, that's pretty clean considering how bad it was earlier. I know it's hard for y'all to see me, but I'm trying to lean over here and clean the bottles. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's basically what you're coming out to. And you can kind of see it's still got just a little bit of stain. That's outside where the label used to be probably. But that's pretty good. And these bottles are about 1890s or turn of the century, about 1900. That's a wine bottle, I believe. So I cleaned one up earlier that I found over the weekend. This is a Chattanooga Ice and Bottling Company bottle I found. You'll see it in my videos. Uh, I actually have a picture of it before I cleaned it, and I'll try to add that to this video so y'all can see it. But, you know, it's kind of a little stained and hazy, but it does a good job. I'm gonna try to show you before and after on some of them. It's kind of tough because uh, I just started doing the video, but here's some that I've cleaned and they still got a little bit of stuff on them, a little tarnish, but for the most part, they look pretty good. Uh, you know, you'll see a little bit of mold up in there. It will come off. You have to sit there and play around with it, but Keep in mind what we started with. We started with this. That's what they look like on the outside. This is a typical river bottle. I mean, they've been laying there for over 130 years, so they're gonna have some crust and rust all over them, and every bit of it will come off. But that's what I end up with. And like I said, this stuff, this navel jelly, it's really good. Um, It's Loctite Rust Dissolver Naval Jelly. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, you can get it at Ace Hardware. Uh, I got this at Ace Elders Hardware in Ringo, Georgia. You can actually probably get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, just look it up online. It comes in a 16 ounce uh, bottle. I'm sure they've got bigger or smaller. Uh, and if you wanna get something smaller and try it out, I think I kind of paid like eight bucks for this but it'll last you a long time uh, if you just do a little drop at a time. So just check it out. But I appreciate everybody watching my channel and I'll have some more videos and diving videos here real soon, kind of show y'all what I do. And I appreciate your uh, support. Thanks a lot and we'll see you later.